Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to work with sound in libgdx. Now what I already did is in my assets folder I added a new directory called sounds and all of these are just sound effects that I bought off the internet because I didn't want to get sued so I actually had to buy them but if you guys know of any way that you can get sound files for free on the internet I don't know if there's a way to do that or not but if there is then feel free to grab anyone off the internet but essentially these are just little sound effects like three seconds or like bloop ding bloop you know like stupid sound effects like that and this clam jam this is actually a song so it's like three or four minutes long and the reason that I wanted different lengths is because the way that you handle simple sound effects and the way that you handle music is a little bit different not only in your code but logistically if you just think about it whenever you play a sound effect like if you collect a coin in a game it's just gonna play it's gonna be done you're gonna hear it simple as that but with music in a song you want the user to pretty much have more control over it you can allow them to pause it stop it start over and of course you don't want that control with just a simple sound effect so again that's why I'm sh gonna show you guys two different techniques and uh, it's gonna make sense in just a second so another thing I should probably point out is this I already implemented an input processor and all of the methods just to you know I didn't want this tutorial to last forever so go ahead and do that and also don't forget to register your input processor as this class so right now if I ran this program it would just look like a white screen so that's our starting point and by the way one other thing I am adding all of the source code from this tutorial and all of my other tutorials on github right now so if you want this source code and I don't know maybe you just want to watch the video like alright this is cool and then I'll copy the source code later go ahead link below you can get it there for free also not only just for the tutorials but if you're ever making an app and you're like alright you know what I can use sound effects in here you can just go back there and it's pretty much like a library for a bunch of different cool codes that you can add to your program so I'm gonna shut up now because I didn't even teach you guys anything yet so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we're gonna do is declare two objects the first one is sound and game over sound let me highlight that so whenever you're using just a really simple quick sound effect you can use a sound object so that's what this is for anything longer than like 10 seconds you probably want to use this one right here music now again this is for longer pretty much songs and music that let's say you're making a music player or something you would want to use music instead why well as you're gonna see in a second with music you can actually pause them um, stop them um, a bunch of good stuff so again sound for short music for long songs like a music player so once that is taken care of what I need to do is just initialize them so game or over sound and this is pretty much just saying where is the sound file so audio new sound and mine is at files dot internal and I put mine in a directory remember called sounds and this was actually death to I did not make that name up someone actually named it death to and it does kind of sound like um I don't know like the user is dying or their games over so there you go now for the clam jam which is my song I'm gonna go ahead and set this equal to gdx dot audio now remember whenever you actually have um, a music object you need to call new music so if I just copy that you guys probably won't notice but new sound and new music are two different methods to initialize your sound files differently so gdx files dot and this is all the same internal and my file was located in sounds what was the name of that I believe it was clam jam dot wave hopefully if not we'll uh, find out pretty soon eh? alright now another thing I want to point out is these sound files both of them are disposable so make sure you, that you dispose of these especially or else they're gonna eat up all of your memory so game over sound 
dispose and clam jam dispose look at that filled it in for me now what I'm gonna do in this program is I'm just gonna say whenever I tap down on the screen I want this sound effect to start playing so of course you would want to play this whenever they either like um their character like hit a block or collected a coin or for a music player you would want some buttons on here but for now since you just have a white screen I can just put my finger on it and it'll start playing so that is of course touchdown whenever I touch down on the screen and let's do the simple game over so this game over sound effect is that really quick one and at first I'll just show you guys this to play it as normal now I'm not gonna record my screen because a I'm lazy and B if I showed you guys a demo it's just gonna be a white screen you guys can't see my finger on the screen recorder so let me just run this and uh, hold on got my cords all tangled up and uh, I'll show you guys what it does alright guys so I had a typo I actually put sound instead of sounds so my program crashed but it is running now now let me go ahead and tap my screen and listen so that's you can see actually right here whenever I'm tapping in my little lock hat and now let me tap it real quick <laughs> so first of all that's the most annoying sound ever but that is my game sound file and let me set my phone down here so another thing I want to show you guys is this see whenever we just played the sound we just called a method called play it ran play the sound fine but what this method actually does is in addition to just playing the sound it also returns an ID number and we can store this value and we'll just store it in a long variable called like sound ID now why would we ever want an ID number essentially to reference this sound well with this ID number what we can do is add some cool sound effects and say that you're making this game and you had a bunch of different sound effects for your game maybe you had a sound where they collected coins maybe you had one where they busted a block and you had this one that played whenever it was uh, the game over but you notice that this sound was kind of loud so what you want to do is go in here and somehow you gotta figure out how to edit a sound file and turn down the volume or with a sound ID you can actually do this all through Android so if you reference game over sound and call something like set as you can see there's a bunch of different stuff that you can do um, so we'll just say set volume for now and then you throw in your ID right there the volume is actually a value 0 to 1 so if you want to set it at like 90 percent just put 0 0.9 F and let me show you guys one other thing and just so you know being able to differentiate between 90 and 100 percent is probably a little bit difficult so I'll show you guys one that will be easy to hear set pitch and this this is actually a value 0 to 2 1 is the default pitch that you heard um you know just like a minute ago so I'm just gonna go ahead and slow this down to like 50 percent so if my pitch was at 50 percent talking I would talk like this so that's what pitch is pretty much the speed and well the pitch of it so that's it now let me go ahead and play this little demo alright so I got my phone <laughs> so you guys probably can't hear the volume being at 90 percent but you can definitely hear the pitch <laughs> alright beautiful uh, sounding sound effect so now what I want to show you guys how to do is work actually let me just go ahead and take all these out and again I'm gonna include these whenever I post the source code on github so yeah alright so another thing I want to do is show you guys how to use that streaming music now of course just to play it it's pretty simple you call the music file and remember this is my long music file it's like four minutes long now of course I don't want to touch down it plays for four minutes and I have zero way of stopping it so just for this example I'm gonna say whenever my finger is down on the screen it's going to play however whenever I lift it up then I'm gonna pause it so I'm gonna call clam jam which is the song pause now of course you would never 
add the functionality to actual music player. You know, you don't want their finger to constantly be on the screen um, to play the song. But let me go ahead and show you guys. And by the way, before, well, I'll tell you guys in a second. Alright, so I'm about to tap my finger on the screen. And now lifting it off. Alright, so as you can see, whenever I lift it off, then it pretty much stops it or pauses it right there. I'm going to press my finger down again. Lift it off. And that's another thing. See, this right here is the pause method. And what this does is wherever you pause it at, whenever I lift up my finger, it pretty much keeps an indicator of where it's at. Now, I can also call stop. And what this does is it actually stops it. And if I put my finger down again, it would start right at the beginning. So that's the difference from pause. It keeps your place. Stop would start right at the beginning. And I kind of like this song. I got it off a, of, well, I don't know, I even know what the uh, website's called, but check it out. All right, so there you go. And, all right have to like adjust everything since I'm like grabbing my phone and then like uh, trying to teach this and keep my screen recorder it's a mess so I'm gonna go ahead and probably go to McDonald's they got them chicken selects now shout out to my selects alright so uh, yeah there you go again all this code is gonna be on github so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and well see you guys later